So Sergeant Kino here reporting for <laughs> reporting for duty, and we're back with some more Terrier, Terrier, a one making tycoon game. Uh, last we left off, we spent way, way too much money, and accidentally made ourselves poor. Our fault, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it anymore. Okay, nothing we can do about it. We'll just have to go hard and strong this time around. Hopefully we get, you know, the good things. Hopefully, you know, hopefully. Uh, you know, we'll make the big money. Is Hopefully we get the same circumstance where the mayor comes over and we got some wines left over. We can get him and make some more money. We're not going to be re-rolling any tiles this time. We're just going to grab this loom right here. We won't get the 10% bonus that we get over here in monthly yields, which is really nice from the forest, unfortunately. Or we can get this one. Oh, but we don't own that forest. I don't know if we'll actually get the bonus from it. Probably not. I bet if we don't own the forest, we don't get the bonus. That's Sandy. Yeah, Sandy, Sandy. Man. Oh, shit. Chop that shit down! I'm missing... Sunbeams I could be getting right now. I'm missing so many sunbeams. My yield so far is pretty good, you know, look at that, the .66. Not half bad, alright, you know? Not half bad. Fucking fungal rot, god damn it. It just had to come, didn't it? The fungal rot just needed to come and seep in while I was having a good time. Look at my yields decrease now. Feels bad, man. Hopefully, will the sun come and, like, you know, make my ripeness go up? That'd be nice. Uh, still have fungal rot. God damn it, man. All I wanted was a good season. Now I have, okay, Fungal Rot's gone. It's fine, it's dandy, okay? We're at four ripeness, so I'm not gonna cl clip it anymore. If it grows, it grows. If it doesn't, we're just gonna leave it as it is. So if I chop that shit down, we might, yeah, we're already in six. We might over ripen. Oh, fuck, we went up to eight. Welp. Well, we over-ripened a little bit. It was a little little too sunny this season. Little too sunny. Way too sunny this season. Way too sunny. No rain came to help us out. Well, time for a terrible wine. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that overexposure. Oh, so good. <laughs> Alright, well at least this time, we have the ability to be able to try to fix it. We need to get the sweetness and tannins down a lot and the acidity way up. We have the power to do this, all right? Last time we didn't have the power to do this because we were poor as fuck, but this time we have the ability to fix it up. We gotta crush it, we gotta do, you know, add a lot of acidity to it. All right, so let's see. So we want to ferment it for... for every two weeks, so that'll bring the sweetness down by four. I can only go up to two months. Oh. Well, I guess we can bring the sweetness down by four, but that's all we can do. And, you know, we're not going to be making a lot of money, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to have to wait. It's not going to be a five-star wine, you know, but, you know, this thing, these things happen. These things happen, we have to deal with them. We're just going to be very poor, uh, but next season we'll make a lot of money because we'll have money come in from this batch during this the next year, and we'll have the, the next year's batch come in, too. But well, we have to do this, you know. Otherwise, it would just be such a bad wine. It's going to have too much body, which I think body means mouthfeel. Um, I've, maybe they changed the saying for that. Uh, at least out here in the U.S., it's it's not body, it's mouthfeel. Well, it's got a great mouthfeel. Which basically means it's got you got a lot of feelings going on in your mouth, you know. Uh, pretty much, I'm going to press all of it. Because I want to make this go up to 10. So I only have to do nine, nine, that would bring it up to ten. I wanted that ten acidity, and then I want to spin it, have it be in a barrel for three months to bring the tannins down by six and the acidity down by three. So it's going to be super acidic, but then we're going to barrel it up. And so, yeah, acidity will go. So in, in four months or three months, yeah, well, we could go for four months. No, in three, in, yeah, in three months, yeah, we want to go for three months. It'll bring the tannins down by six, the acidity down by three, and it'll be close to what it's supposed to be. It won't be great, 
but it'll be okay. So, in February, the beginning of this thing growing, we should get it. You know, it won't be, like I said, it won't be the greatest, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'll definitely be able to recover from this from the bad times, but uh, you know, we we trimmed this too much. We trimmed we trimmed this one down too too much. So not a lot we can do about that. We can't enter in any wines yet unless that goes by for another month. Then we can. Um, come on, let that be up for one more month. It'd be nice. Once it hits February, we'll be good. I believe. Okay. Boom. Bottle it. So yeah, the, I th it's pretty It's pretty great. Hmm. Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't taste like dirt. Earthy flavors gain 10% of your wine's price. Ooh. Oh. Um, you know, could have been better. Only got 152. Um, too much sun? Yeah, we're going to go with that name. Too much sun. Literally, I'm having like, I feel like I'm going to have the exact opposite problem. We're going with the screw cap and in this bottle. All right, we have 600 bottles. What I want to do is pause, enter in a wine to go in, and it will use 20 bottles. And the submission fee is, oh, this isn't a, maybe we should get it rated first? Maybe? See how, how it turns out. I don't think I'm going to enter this one in. I'm going to bring in the low people, not the high prestige. All right. Oh, <laughs> pretty bad. The acidity was too high. Really? I guess seven acidity is too high. I guess it needs six. We should change it. I, wow. Holy crap. That didn't sell at all. All right. Well, not going to be making a lot of money off of this. But it is what it is, and we gotta do what we gotta do. Our, our distribution regulations didn't even go up because it was such a terrible wine. Well, sometimes you, you get them, sometimes you don't, alright? Sometimes it happens. And today was one of those times where it didn't happen, alright? Not good enough. <laughs> well, you know, the next one will be better. We'll have some money then. It's a good thing I didn't enter into this, because if I entered that terrible wine into that, ah, oh, we would have just lost money and got nothing out of it. It would have been terrible. How's our expenses report going over here? That's not our expense report. We looked in the wrong one. This one. Latest financial report. We have already had a positive. That's, that's okay. It's not great. But, you know, we'll be making a little bit of money here and there. Okay. We got three ripeness. Um, I'm gonna clip it down by one because we still want it. We still want to get a little bit more, you know, a little bit more ripeness. Clip that shit down again. We need to get. We need to get. Uh, we'll probably. God damn, dude, come on. Nothing but rain. We're clipping these things all day. Let's go. I'm wanting the good wines here. Dude, every season it's been raining. That's, that's really weird for me because where I live, I live in a desert and it barely ever rains. Fungal rot when I'm at three ripeness already? You motherfucker. You motherfucker. This is a grade A. Oh my god, fucking rain. Go away. I just want a good wine and you just constant rain. How am I supposed to have a good wine in this shitty rain? Fuck it, I'm cutting these leaves. Again. So even if it's um even if it's cloudy, I think I'll still gain. Oh you motherfucker. Clip that shit. Even if it's cloudy, I think I'll still be fine. This'll be a no matter what, this'll be a better wine than our previous one. Oh yeah, you know, fuck these winners. They don't deserve their win. Just because they make a good wine. Yeah, dude, it's rained, like, every season. At least it's three ripeness. It could be worse. It could be no ripeness, you know? Could be much worse. I almost want to... Well, I have to go in another season. Can I clip this down again? Yeah, super clipping that shit. Ah. Uh, uh, three ripeness. It could be worse. It could be worse. We'll have to get the acidity up a little bit. Um, 
We don't want to lose any sweetness or any tannins, so... We got Fungal Rot, which is bad. It's going to be a minus one star just because of that. At the end. Feels bad. But you know what? It is what it is. Sometimes we have good seasons, sometimes we don't. And this is one of those days where we didn't have good season. Um, we don't want to... We want less than two weeks because we don't actually want to... We, we want, what, one more? Well... We're going to go with two more acidity. Because I think I have to hold it for at least one... Uh, we're going with no... We're going with, with one acidity and I'm going to instant freaking move it over. Uh-huh. Don't let any time pass. It's got great acidity. Fungal rot. It is what it is. We're going to bottle. The redemption is what this is going to be called. Uh, the redemption. The redemption. We're going to go... We're going to put a cork in it because we're going to feel confident about our bottle. 480, not a great amount, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna invite the low tier people again. They'll give it an okay, yeah, yeah. You know, aren't they all great? This one, I think they're great. Good for you, buddy. Alright, now it's time to sell. Um, waiting to sell 25 bottles. Wait, I cannot give this them until they finish selling? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I've been making a lot less money because. When it's a low quality wine, it takes them a lot longer to sell it. I completely forgot about that. That's probably why I haven't made shit for money. Sell. Alright. Take my good wines, please. Take my... Oh, wait. Uh, 160. No, stop it. Hit the fucking right button. God damn it. 160. 160. I need to make monies. Alright, sell. There we go. Wine relations up. That's great. So the next time we sell wine, we'll actually make like real amounts of money. It'll be great. Fantastic. We won't be poor. Maybe. <laughs> Our renown is one. You know, I felt like the last save was going better. But uh, this time, at least we're not, you know, poor as fuck, I guess. You know, you got we got a little bit going for us, all right? We actually had a uh, positive increase. We went from 9,000 to 11, so that's you know, 7,000 net income, nothing too shabby. Hopefully the next season, though, you know, a little bit better. We clip it a little bit, you know, we sell it for a good amount, you know, hopefully. We get up to that five, we can bring in that, that summing. If we have no fungal rot in it, that'd be great, too. We can bring in those tier two prestige wine dudes. And then we'll be making the good stuff. Hopefully get a, you know, a chance thing with the mayor so we can get monies again. I was really hoping we were going to get that again because that $35,000 he gave us could have been used for better things. Could have been. Unfortunately, it was not used for good things. So we just kind of have to deal with it. But, you know, you know, I believe. I believe in myself. Yeah, rain is coming. It's just going to be a rainy season, huh? Where it's going to rain literally every single day. Again. Cloudy. That's decent, I guess. This is already clipped all the way down, yeah. I guess cloudy, even if it... Okay, it went up to two. So when it's cloudy and trimmed all the way, we'll still get the one ripeness from it. Which is alright. Okay, I think we probably won't do any more clipping after this. Hopefully some more rain comes so it grows. Otherwise it's going to be overexposed again. Oh fuck, it's going to be overexposed, isn't it? Well, I really need canopy management, man. Like, isn't there like stuff we can get um, that'll help out with this stuff? I think it's the workers, right? If we get the the worker office and worker actions, we can do canopy management where we can specifically set what we want it to be at at all times. Optimize foliage. So I guess yeah, I could I could like have them specifically be at a certain. Oh, we're gonna get over ripened for sure. Feels bad, my dude. Feels bad. Because literally no rain's gonna come, so we're gonna get over ripe overexposure. Yeah, overexposed up the ass. Fuck, dude. I'll just fast forward through this. 
Go up to super speed. Yep, overexposed. Shit tier wine again. Great. Shit tier wine. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna grab this shit tier wine and just sell it as most as much as I can to um, that cheap vendor because like I don't even really get any money from it. Might as well build some kind of relation with him, anyways. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like it matters now. Yeah. Terrible wine. Crush it down. I mean, we'll try to fix it. I mean, the, I think the last time was it was saying there was too much acidity. So I guess we could knock it down a bit. Um, this increases the tannins? I didn't even know that. Maybe we can do a better job this time. Maybe. But if we don't do a good job, I'm telling you what's going to happen is... Uh, so, we can get this down to... A six. We'll leave it to ferment. we got to do the two months. I don't know, man. Feels bad. Feels bad. Maybe I'll only bring it up to like a 9 acidity instead. And then just bring it down by 2. Bring the sweetness down by 4. Maybe. 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 You never know. Maybe this one will be as bad, but the overexposure sucks. I want to expand. That's my thing. Like, That's my problem. I really, really want to expand, but I feel like I can't. Because I'm stuck in this, I'm stuck in this rut of making like terrible wines over and over. All right, we want to go up to nine acidity, so we can bring that acidity down by three, and bring the tannins down by six. Okay, and then barrel type, and we gotta wait three months, so we won't be able to sell them until February again. Hopefully, it'll be better. We can only we can only hope. Yeah, we got we got um, two more months. Fast forward. Let's get out of these months. I don't want to be in these terrible terrible times where my funds are getting lower and lower, and uh, you know, there's not a lot I can do. I mean, we just hit some bad ripening stages. There's not a lot you can do about that. You know, either bad ripening stages or too much ripening, and you know. We haven't been able to sell our wines for big money because of that. Oh, it's February. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. Okay. So it should be at the right stage now. Yeah, six acidity is what they wanted at. The tannins are good. It's going to be too sweet, but we kind of have to deal with it. Just deal. Is what I'm going to call this. Just deal with it. Just deal with it. Screw cap. I'm not confident. Yeah, but, you know, actually, I'm going to go with the cork and a nice looking bottle. All right, and we're gonna organize the tasting with the low tier guys. Oh shit, we're running out of low tiers. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say, dude, I gotta take up the big, the big prestige guys. All right, fourteen twenty. The tannins were too low, so they want above four tannins. So a five tannin or six tannin would be good. Okay, so six tannins and six acidity is what we want to aim for on this wine. Okay. So next time, if we overexpose, I know what we should do. All right. Anyways, we'll sell it. Uh, 120, 120, 120. It'll sell relatively quickly. Not the, the most amount, but, you know, good enough. Now, this, this year is quite literally make or break. We either make the best wine ever or we go under. That's our options. Best wine ever or go under. We're already out of three ripeness. I haven't even cut anything. It hasn't rained. It's been cloudy. So we might it might already be setting up to fuck us in the butt. Alright. Okay. And that might be what's happening here. Supposedly it's gonna rain, so these are gonna grow. So what I want. Okay, whoa, that, w that grew a lot. I want it to be at that. I want there to be a little bit of leaves on there, so it has the chance to gain more sun, but at three acidity or three ripeness, it's not the worst, but I want it to get a little bit more ripe. That means it can at least gain one on sunny days. It's not going to gain anything on rainy days, and it's not going to gain any ripeness on cloudy days, but if a sunny day comes around, we don't want it to start jumping to ripeness every season. 
because we're going to end it up with another expo overexposure. We got fungal run, great, you know. It is what it is. Ugh. So it's got we got clear, so it should it should go up by one. If what I'm understanding is correct, it should go up by one when it's clear. Yeah, okay. Good. I think this is gonna I think this is gonna hit right on. I think this is gonna be our, our notch our class A wine. It's gonna be five stars. Um I'm gonna clip it down. Because it's not perfect wine yet. I think it's gonna be our this is gonna be a five star right here. It's gonna, you know, get us the, the monies we need. And I think we'll be good. I think we'll be really good. This will be perfect. It'll get just the right amount of sun. Alright. Oh dude, nothing but freaking rain? I mean four ripeness isn't bad. It's within the one it's within one of the mark we want it to be, so it's not gonna be the perfect most best line ever, but it'll be pretty good. Alright, it'll be it'll be pretty on point. Oh, there we go. Let's harvest it. Alright, so we're gonna wanna raise the acidity by two. Uh, the tannins are just there's nothing we can do about those tannins. Oh no, well the tannins will be raised by two when we crush it, actually. When we do this, it actually raises the tannin by two, it takes five seconds. Yeah, so this this will raise the tannin by two. You know, we'll just be we won't have any like um time fermenting. I don't know what the perfect sweetness is. I think five is probably fine. Um so yeah, we'll raise it by two. The acidity to six, tannins will be at six, and then we'll put it in a barrel, but we'll instantly bottle it. Because there's no reason to leave it in there. Yeah, six, six, sweetness five, body six. I think we got a pretty, you know, the savior is what this one's going to be called. The savior. And we're going to put the cork in. We're going to go with the typical bottle. We're going to bottle it. You don't have enough funds to make this purchase. Oh, shit. That's bad. That's real bad. We have to make a loan. We can only take out 2,000. Wait, we can take out 3,000. We can take out 3,000. I will pay it back within two years. We will apply. We will take that money. And then we will grab this. Hopefully it's not ruined. All right, it's not ruined. Because if, it, if a month went by, it would have been ruined. The savior. Dude, we almost got so poor we couldn't freaking bottle this again. That would have been terrible. If that happened again, I would have been so sad. Okay, we got a lot of bottles though. That's the good part. We're bringing these high this high prestige dude in here. He knows what he wants. Five star, motherfucker. Five star. That's what I'm talking about. The verdict is in. Ah, the Cabernet Sauvignon Young is everywhere, but the great ones are rare, just like this little gym. 1820. Oh, oh, so good. All right, we're you going to sell it. Uh, how much can I give to you? 260? I think? No, I can give more than that. I can do like 320? 5? 320? Mm, we're going to have a little bit extra, I think. 325? 325? Okay, we have 100 more, so... We got like 55 here? Oh no, we can go to 60. Okay. I had no idea what I was talking about. I want to like, I feel like I could probably work my relations with this Koopa's Food Co. And if my relation got good enough with them, I could probably make pretty, like I feel like their relationship bonus would probably be pretty good. But obviously, I don't know for sure. You know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it would be a really good idea. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, we don't want to do circumstance. I think we want to do chance because we don't have any. Well, I mean, we can do a circumstance. The town's mayor has heard about your vineyard and would like yeah. to pay a visit. So it's we have to make another good wine. It's the mayor one. I should have saved some bottles. Completely forgot. Oh, well, um, you know, he'll come around when the mayor comes and we'll make some, you know, some decent money. Oh, my God, we're so poor. This wine needs to sell. It needs to go into the next month so we can sell this stupid wine. Wait, can I can I change? Can I go back into the market and be like, wait, 
Give me back my wines! No, I can't do that. Yeah, they haven't sold a single... Wait. They have sold a bottle. Okay, I got my money. I was about to say, where the fuck's my money? Where the fuck's my money, Mo? I gave you 360. Where the fuck's my money? Huh. Well, I think we'll have enough money to probably make, make it through the next year. But if this next wine that we make is not also top tier as fuck, we're screwed. We're so screwed. If it is the next wine we make is not top tier, we're, we're, we're boned. We're totally boned. Totally 100% boned. Maybe I should have took the chance instead. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here for today. And I'll see you guys next time with many more episodes to come. I'm Sergeant Kenai. And I'm signing out.